way to not look crazy with the towel on your head but this road just made my skin so glass like about to put some hyaluronic acid on i'm doing my skincare and i wanted to start off the vlog i haven't started off today and it is good friday i have today off work i actually had yesterday off work too we were supposed to go down to take our engagement photos yesterday in west palm beach but we had to reschedule I don't want to put my photographer's business online, but um, we had to reschedule. It's unfortunate, but I'm glad she's okay. She's doing better. She's healthier. And we're rescheduling for the end of April. It was kind of like a last minute thing where our plans had to change. So I went into the work week thinking that it was only going to be a three day work week. And then we canceled basically like Tuesday night at like 9 p.m. And I almost kind of thought about taking back my PTO day because I really am limited to PTO for the first two years and then I think I get 10 days but for the first two years I only get five days of PTO at my job and I do get sick days but I don't I don't really call out of work I've actually never called out of like my corporate job before I just feel like as an adult you just like don't call out of work um i don't know i'm not asking for like an award for like not calling out of work but i don't use my sick days so last year i asked if i could convert my sick days to pto days because i just i'm not going to take a full day for like a doctor's appointment i'm just gonna like work it around and i'd rather have the sick days for like days that i'd actually like want off and with the my job if i were to get sick my boss has let me work from home before in the past so but anyways i have limited pto so i almost thought about like working but when you go into a work week and you are only expecting to work three days like how bad does it suck to actually like work the four days that you're supposed to work because we had good friday off anyway so i just decided to still take the day off and i literally did nothing i just worked out and did like a load of laundry but i sat on the couch yesterday like all day and i can't remember the last time that i had a day like that i just felt so relaxed and i put on a self tan which is what I usually do on a Thursday. And, um, sorry, the thing is about me is like, I can like sometimes multitask, but sometimes I really can't multitask, especially when I'm talking. So I decided to take the day still, and I was gonna pump out like multiple videos from the weekend, and I'm like, why do I always do that to myself? Why do I always like view days off of work as like days where I need to like grind in another area of my life? So I just was like, no, you just deserve to take a day. I haven't taken a day like that in 
I can't even tell you the last time. It feels like a Saturday. It's so strange. Yesterday felt like a Friday. Just It's just a weird week. I woke up, worked out, like usual Friday stuff. Then Krish and I laid out by the pool for like just an hour. It's so nice outside. It's just absolutely stunning. 75 degrees. There was like the UV index was a high eight. It was just the most perfect day. And we came back made a smoothie which i've been obsessed with just making smoothies at home they're so good and refreshing took a shower and now we're here it is actually later in the day i think it's like three o'clock it's 3 17 so it's kind of like later in the day Krishna and i are going to do like a little date night at home we're going to make some steaks and just be home so I'm gonna plan to go down to, we're going down to West Palm Beach. She's gonna do us on a Saturday, um, which is nice. The original reason why we booked her on a Thursday is because she usually saves her weekends for weddings, but she was open that weekend in April. So I end up working out, so we can go down on like a Friday after work and I do get out a little bit early on a Friday, drive down to West Palm, stay the night, take our engagement photos, and I'm just so excited. These are gonna be our photos for our Save the Dates. I can't wait. She's just like an incredible photographer. So just like really excited to have her shoot our engagement photos and then obviously shoot our wedding. She's just amazing. I think I'm gonna actually do some eye patches even though it's like the end of the day. I really like these. I got them off of Amazon and they're Grace and Stella. They have like really good reviews. I've used them a couple times. What I like about them is I've used in the past ones that are in like a container. What I like about these is that they're all individual. So just a bunch of like individual eye masks and I got the gold ones. They have different colors. I don't think the colors really <laughs> matter but um, they just look like this. It's anti-wrinkle and an energizing eye mask. So I'm gonna do this and then, actually I'm gonna take my hair out of this towel. It hasn't been in the towel for that long. I think I'm gonna do the K18 leave-in. I have like the mini one. I thought this was the bigger one because it is so expensive and I was like, okay, like it's probably like a decent size. Like this is the smallest thing I've ever seen. And I think it was like 30 bucks for it but i don't use this all the time i use it sparingly like the first couple of washes i think i used it or like it recommended to use it like the first couple of washes consistently and then you like use it here and there when you feel like you need it and you're supposed to like leave it in your hair for like three three four minutes before you brush through it okay we're gonna keep these on for honestly they stay dry for i mean wet for so long so Leave them on for a decent amount of time. I'll link them too if you're interested. We're at a stoplight and we're looking up the Kelly's ice cream March flavors. We're going to get ice cream after dinner. Dinner was so good. But I think I'm gonna get the, I don't know, I think I wanna get the Rice Krispie Kreme. That sounds really good, but they all sound so good. And then I was also thinking of the Salted Caramel Oreo. If you guys have a Kelly's near you, what flavors do you get? Feels like summer too because it's 7.30 it's still light outside and we're going to get ice cream. It's like what you do in the summer. Two butter pecan swirls, 
two blueberry shots and then two creams, please. And that will be it. Thank you. Hi. Okay, we just went to Dunkin' Donuts because I really wanted to try the viral, it says brown sugar syrup. Oh no. This says brown sugar, but I saw on the screen it said butter pecan. And she repeated it back to me, mm -hmm. butter pecan. So I'm hoping that this is butter pecan, but it says on here brown sugar two blueberry shots and then two creams and I hope this isn't like too sweet that actually might be butter pecan it's like such a treat like butter pecan butter pecan right it is butter pecan i thought they messed it up and i was about to be really upset it's really sweet but it's it's it not bad like a, it tastes like a french vanilla it does it tastes <laughs> like butter pecan i don't taste the blueberry it tastes like any coffee you would get with like sugar and like, yeah. you know what I mean? It tastes like it will give me a headache though. It's good, worth a shot, worth trying, but it's like not something that I could get every single day. And I like the taste of taste coffee. You don't taste any blueberry. You don't taste any blueberry, but you also don't taste any coffee. It's just sugar, but it's, I like it, it's good, but it's not something that I take every day. I would just get coffee with <clears throat> milk or cream. Black. Christian likes just plain black coffee. Which I don't blame them. I used to drink that too. It's good, but I think, I feel like this is something that you drink when you first start drinking coffee, when you're like, I'll just take the sweetest coffee there ever was. Like in college, I used to drink just French vanilla lattes, and I just don't even think there was really you know any what it tastes like? It tastes like those Starbucks uh, Frappuccinos that you can get in the gas stations and stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's in what like it tastes the, like. In the glass containers, yeah. In the glass yeah. bottles. I just don't taste any of the blueberry. Maybe slightly. I also don't know who decided to come up with this because blueberry with butter pecan is like just like the weirdest combo but then again like a blueberry butter pecan muffin I feel like wouldn't be that weird I don't know worth a try but probably not something that I order all the time okay I've been sitting editing at my computer for the past hour and I'm wearing like a sweatshirt kind of awkwardly and weird it's so crazy how you feel after like a second coffee and how you can just feel the difference of like the jitters and like a not good steady energy and i want to like reshare magic mind with you guys because i'm like over halfway through this container and i'm seriously thinking about repurchasing it it's not something that i drink every single day although you totally can and it can even replace your coffee but i use it as like a secondary boost on the days where i like need it or if i have like a long workout day and i've shared them before on my channel it tastes kind of like tropical and fruity it has like matcha adaptogens it's good for your immune system just like a really easy shot i mostly take it on like work days my long work days when i wake up at like 4 45 to go work out and it's just like a long day where I'm like sitting at my desk all day and then I usually come home and which is, this is Thursdays, I'll self tan and then I'll sit on my computer for four hours and edit YouTube videos or um, do things for YouTube. It's like my long day. I love taking this on those days or if I just need the extra boost on the weekend but mainly do it during the work week. I love this stuff. I can link it down below. Um, it's worth trying. It's definitely like a different type of energy. Very steady, no jitters. I go to sleep pretty easily, depending. I mean, I don't suggest drinking it at 5 p.m. if you wanna to go to bed at 10, but it's a great second coffee alternative and just even a replacement for your first coffee in the morning if you're trying to limit caffeine or whatever your goals are highly highly recommend magic mind i was very skeptical at first and i'm no longer skeptical at all since trying um but i can see why people would be skeptical reviews are insane incredible and i just love having these in my fridge for that extra boost that i need some days so wanted to share them again i'll link them definitely give them a try definitely let me know if you do try them or if you have used them in the past what your thoughts are i would love to hear in the comments down below but kind of just having that secondary coffee makes me wish that i didn't and i just went for one of these instead because it's just a total different type of 
energy feeling just a way better energy in my opinion so just wanted to reshare them i'm gonna get back to editing my computer maybe finally put the sweatshirt completely on i'm about to start a load of towels but i thought i would eat first i went to green beet in baldwin park it is so good um really yummy just salad bowl place okay so what i get if you live near green bee or if you're just genuinely curious i got leaf lettuce arugula red pepper chickpeas chicken cucumber feta and i feel like i got another topping but i can't remember and i don't see anything else and then i got this it sounds weird with this bowl i feel like spicy thai peanut vinaigrette it's incredible so this is what i'm having for dinner i'm so excited it smells delicious and i'm so hungry so i'm gonna eat this i think i'm gonna eat outside on the patio because it's so pretty outside and i think i'm gonna have poppy a ginger lime poppy let me show you outside like are you kidding it's gorgeous outside and it's warm so i think i'm gonna sit out here on the patio 